Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Mr. Yurko here, and I'm helping you figure out how to make this cookie cutter, or at least something kind of like it. Now, before we get started, I want to point out to you, if you look at the tabs along the bottom, you'll see that I have attempt 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've been at this for a while, and I made a lot of mistakes. You're going to make a lot of mistakes, too. Making things that break and don't work out, work out on the first try, that's okay. This is going to be one of those one of those trials for you. Doesn't mean we're not going to have fun. It means we're actually going to have more fun. So let's show you what we got. What we're going to do. We're going to create. We're we're trying to create <clears throat> a little bit of maybe there. Uh, we're going to try to create a object that has a shelled edge, this vertical edge that's going to show the outline of the design we want to make. Stamp that down into our cookie. Uh, I have a flange on the back, which is highlighted right now, that adds some stiffness to the design. And I've got a hole in the back to help me push out the extra, push the dough out when I'm done. We can make that flange bigger or smaller uh, based on our needs. We can add details to it that if we want to stamp eyes or something in our, in our, in our cookie, we can go for it. So what tools do I need to know how to do in order to make this work? First. I need to know how to get a blank uh, blank part, blank part studio. So if you have already in a part studio like I am right now. You just hit the plus sign down here at the bottom and create click create part studio. And that's how I'm going to get myself to a blank document on my in, in my on shape. If I am not already in a existing part. Uh, I am going to go ahead and hit that on shape logo at the top and hit new document. But since I'm trying to keep all mine together, I'm doing all of my unicorn and all my cookie cutters in the same cookie cutter file. I'm going to rename my new part studio to unicorn attempt eight. And we're going, and, and now we have a blank space. Before I can start tracing my design, I need to bring in a design. So you'll see that at the bottom here, that plus sign, the very first item here was import. So I'm going to click the import button and you're going to import the artwork that you, that you created. So if you, and you not make sure that you put that artwork in your downloads folder. So whether you go get that off the interweb, whether you draw it yourself and take a picture, make sure that you get it into your downloads folder and that it is saved as a PNG file. So whenever you go click save as on that file, make sure you click save as type, you're gonna choose PNG. You'll just click that in and click open and that'll bring it into a new tab and you'll see that you'll have a tab that just has your artwork on it. And then once you have it on its own tab, you're going to ignore it from there. You're not going to need to go back to that tab. We're going to import it. And this time I'm going to import in here a different unicorn because the one I just showed you is kind of complicated. So I'm going to click a bring a simpler one in. So we're going to go ahead and import that in directly in here by opening a sketch. Click on the front view. It's normal to plane, so I'm looking flat on it. And then we're going to insert that image. And I've got two images to choose from because these are the two unicorns images that I imported. And you'll notice again, both of them are PNGs. So we're going to take the simpler one first. And nothing's going to happen. It's going to give you a message here. It says draw image rectangle. So I'm going to drag my image rectangle. And then I'm going to take my dimension tool and tell it how big I want it to be. I want this to be four inches tall. Okay. It needs to be between two and four inches. I'm going to want to trace it on the inside. So the overall image here is four inches, but my final product is going to be a little smaller than four inches. I'm going to check out of that sketch. I'm going to create a new sketch so that I can, and a quick front, so that I can create, use my spline tool. And I'm going to do a real simple, quickie.
And this is the, the spline tool is a is a series of points. You're gonna you're gonna have to spend some time practicing with this. This is definitely a different skill, and you're probably not gonna get it right on the first try. And that's gonna create the outline of your feature. Hit that check mark, and I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide that first sketch so I don't see my unicorn picture anymore. And there you have it. Got a background. So there's my unicorn. And I used the spline tool to create that. At this point, I have several options to make my shell. Uh, the easiest one, if this works, is you hit the extrude button, click on your feature, uh, extrude at the distance we're looking for, 0.4 inches, so half an inch. And that's going to create a new feature called the extrude. Hit that, chef, hit that check mark. And then we're going to shell the outline to a thickness of 106 inches. And that creates that. If my chamfer works, I can put an edge on here. That's That sounds great. And it's 2 .0, 0 0.2 inches is too big. We're going to go with point. Uh, 05, still doesn't like that, 0.01, doesn't like that, 0.001, yep, really doesn't like that. So my chamfer's not going to work, this is too complicated. If I want to add a chamfer, that's a beveled edge, then I'm going to need to smooth this out. Uh, chamfers tend to like really straight features, when this gets rather curvy, it can be difficult for the software to create that. So right now, here I have my unicorn. Uh, I can create new details, like I want to put eyes or something. I can put that on, on this back. Or I can create the cutout, like we showed before. So I'm going to create a sketch. Come in here. And do a little plane. And I have options. I can try to offset this. This may or may not work. It doesn't work every time. I can click on my object. and pull this arrow in or out to create an object. And you see that it's giving me a failed. So there's an offset. I'm going to go the other direction and click check. So now I just created an offset in the opposite direction I wanted. But that is how, how the offset tool works. And I can use that to extrude, go the other way, and make it 0.1 inches. And there you have a flange. Have my flange, add some strength. Now we've got a problem though. I'm gonna come in here, I need to cut this out. So there's a couple different ways to do that. I can draw on the back side. So I can just hit that sketch button, draw on here. And do a normal plane. And come in here and I can draw using my spline tool again. Here and close that off. Congratulations. Finish that out. And then extrude. Click on the area. Hit that remove button. And check. So there you have it. There's a cookie cutter with flanges on both sides. Add some strength. I'd be careful. Looks like I made a mistake here. Got a little bit close to it. So have fun, create, try different things. You can project stuff on there. I could have also created a sketch on here and I could have used this edge and then hit that check mark, extrude. And then I'm gonna remove, could have removed that entire, did that one, there you go. Just could have done it that way as well. There are lots of options on how to make this work. Play with it. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to be yours. It's going to be fun. And just go be awesome. Have fun. Create cool stuff. And don't forget to be you. Hit me up if you need any help. Have a great day.